Good morning. <sighs> Welcome to Boston. I woke up this morning not knowing if I was in Boston or Chicago because I think I've been feeling like as the book tour stuff has been wrapping up, I kept thinking like, oh, I'm going home and, you know, soon and things are winding down. And even when I landed in Boston last night, I kept having this weird feeling that I was in Chicago. But I think it's it comes down to that Boston feels like home, just like Chicago does, because I really like Boston. I spent four years here before going on my road trip initially, and uh, I, I'm looking forward to um, going out and getting food and finding a place to do work and all that stuff that I usually do in the other cities, but there's something very home-like that, that Boston feels. It's like something like 10 o'clock. And at first I was a little upset with myself for sleeping in, but then I realized um, that this week I've been in all three time zones at different points. So my body's probably just a little confused, and that's okay, it'll take a little bit of time to catch up to the East Coast time, I guess. Hey guys, I'm walking to one of my favorite restaurants in Boston to get a late breakfast. Uh, I'm going to Life Alive. I'm about a 25, 20 minute walk from there. I'm really happy to be walking today, just not only because it's great, <laughs> but I just sitting on all the planes yesterday, three different flights to get from Fargo to Boston. Um, so I'm glad to to be using my legs and stretching my legs this morning. which has wild shiitake mushrooms, shredded carrots and beets, broccoli and kale, smothered in ginger, nama, shoyu, shoyu sauce, over brown rice. I also added the tamari almonds as well. great lunch at Life Alive and now I am taking the tea up to Somerville which is my old stomping grounds. I'm gonna head up to Diesel Cafe which I loved working out of when I lived here and I'm gonna go hang out there for the day to do some work. Davis Square. I love Davis Square, probably because it's a bit sentimental since I used to live not too far from here. Just quick note, when I was taking the train from just a couple of stops from Central to Davis, I found myself like enjoying the screechy weird sound of the train, which I never really liked before. And even the smell, like there was something I really liked about it. I felt like my senses and everything were just more awakened than I remember them being when I lived here in Boston. And I think that's just part of travel. I mean, it's part of revisiting these places that I really have great memories at, but also just travel in general. It really, it livens, it livens things up, you know, when you're, when you're 
feel like you're in a new space or even revisiting a space and I just it it struck me as interesting and I wanted to share that with you because I like it. I like that. uploaded yesterday's vlog, worked on my presentation for the Boston Veg Food Fest this Saturday at 4.30 p.m. Really looking forward to that and answered some emails. And now I'm going to give myself a little break. I'm going to go watch The Martian at a nearby theater just to kind of brain relax a minute and then after that I'll probably maybe get some dinner and then keep working later tonight. super enjoyed The Martian. I'm walking the half mile now to True Bistro, which is one of my favorite vegan restaurants in the Boston area. I'm gonna go take myself out to dinner. A will travel for vegan food was here sticker on this window it's no longer there hmm. dinner at true Bistro was fantastic I had some salted caramel ice cream for dessert made by FOMU which is a local vegan ice cream shop and I had the soba noodle dish it seemed like it had fried vegetables in it maybe sweet potato and peppers not totally sure mushrooms as well I think it was really good uh, so I'm about an hour walk back to Anand's house I haven't decided if I'm gonna take some form of public transit because regardless there's walking required whether I take the bus or the T I don't think I want to pay for an uber so I don't know I might just walk for a little bit I'm feeling introspective this evening and Maybe I will just walk the whole way. Anyhow, I'm gonna call it a night, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. It will be vlog number 100 tomorrow. All right, have a good night, and remember to eat well and travel often.